Hi everybody, my name is Melissa Kale. I'm a doctor of physical therapy and Pilates instructor. Today I have a quick Pilates fusion workout for you. So a little bit of Pilates, a little bit of yoga, a few other things mixed in, focusing on hip mobility with a little bit of core activation as well. So we're gonna start in standing with an active warm up. Just get the body get warm, get it ready to stretch and move. You're just gonna march in place. So hands in front of you so you have a target. Stand up nice and tall with the shoulders back on your upper back. We're just gonna lift one knee and then the other. We're gonna add a little attention to it by activating your core, by pulling the belly in toward your spine and lifting your crown of your head to the sky. Take your time as you bring your foot down and see if you can put your foot back in the same place where it started. Good. Two more like this on each side. Shoulder blades low. Nice. And then we're going to change and kick your butt. Same attention to the abs. Placing your foot in the same spot. Nice tall posture here. We're going to keep a little neutral spine position. So lumbar curve, just like so. Good. And then two more. Stretching the front of the thigh here. Last one. All right. Then step feet a little wider than hip width apart. Toes pointing out a little bit. We're going to bring your arms straight out to the side. Inhale, give your body a big stretch up toward the ceiling. And then exhale, we're going to reach the left hand down toward the right toe, leaning your hip way back behind you. Inhale, we'll stretch it up, and then down to the opposite side. Inhale to come up, exhale to come down. As you sit back in your lunge, you're gonna keep most of your weight through the heel. Inhale, and exhale. Reach it up, and exhale on the way down. Getting a nice stretch to the inner thigh, your hip adductors as you come down into your lunge, and activating warming up your glutes on your bent knee side and down. Now next one you're going to pause and hold finger to the floor. You can place all five fingers down and then reach your right hand up to the ceiling. And then on twist reach it up opposite side. Let your fingers come down reach that left arm up and look up toward the sky. And then inhale up to the center. One more slow one like that each way. Fingers to the floor. Twist and reach. And then up to the sky. Fingers down. Reach and lift. We're going to get a little more twist from the bottom of the rib cage. Come all the way back up to the center. And then we're going to turn, pivot your feet. So your right foot is in front, left leg is in back. All 10 toes are gonna point straight ahead, reaching your arms up into a crescent lunge. And then tip your tailbone down underneath you. So you're gonna let that back knee bend a little bit. You can even put your hands here on your pelvis and tip your pelvis down so that you feel a stretch here in the front of this left hip. Once you've got that Posterior pelvic tilt. We're going to extend the left arm to the sky and then side bend, reaching over to the right. Getting a really good stretch to your hip flexors and your tensor fascia lata muscle, which is right here on the front of the pelvis. Two more breaths. Lift the upper back. Keep dipping that tailbone down to the floor. And then we're gonna come back to the center, shift your weight forward onto your front foot, and then lift your left knee up to balance on one leg on your right leg. Good, we're gonna bring your hands to prayer, holding your balance, and then circle that left knee around. So you're gonna pick it up, lift it around, and step back off of your mat to the right side. And then both knees are gonna bend, we'll go down to a curtsy lunge, Press it back up, 
and then circle that hip back around. And tap the toe in front for balance. We'll lift it up, circle it around, carefully step it back, lunge down and up, and then we'll pick it up, circle it around. And again, knee comes up and around, step back, weight through your heel as you come down and up. Press your weight through that right foot, circle that hip, keeping your back still one more time. Take your time, place your foot, find your balance. You should have enough weight on your heel that you can lift your toes off the ground. And up. And then we're gonna press your weight around, bring it back to balance on that one foot, hold it here. Lift your spine nice and tall, maybe flex your toes even to the ceiling. And then with control, step back to your lunge. Reach the arms up overhead, extend your back leg. And then we're gonna bring the hands down, frame your foot. Step back to a plank on the hands and toes. Belly lifted. We're gonna lift the left leg and then drop your right heel down and up. Switch. Right leg comes up, drop your left heel down, up, back to the middle. And then we'll pick up the pace. So lift the leg, down, up, center, and right, down, up, center. One more time on each side. Lift, down, up, center, right, down, up, center. Hold it here. Chaturanga, you're gonna lower your chest down to the floor. If you need to, you can drop the knees. Here, turn the toes under. Inhale, lift up to a little cobra. And then exhale, turn your toes under, down dog. On your next exhale, we're gonna walk your hands. On your next exhale, we're gonna walk your feet forward to a forward bend. Roll yourself up to standing. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, bring them down by your side. All right, then we're gonna switch sides. So we're gonna step back with your right foot to a crescent lunge. Arms up tall, right leg strong behind you. Take a full breath here, find your balance. And then we're gonna bend that right knee, tip your pelvis forward until you feel a stretch here in the hip flexor on the right side. Then left hand to hip, reach your right arm to the left. Once you've got your pelvis tipping down like you should, see if you can lift your rib cage up a little higher. Then we're gonna bring both arms up, extend that back knee, shift your weight onto your front foot, and then we're gonna to slide to balance on that leg, right knee in front. Find your balance here, hands to heart. Stand up tall, and then circle that right foot around. Step off of the mat, chest up tall, curtsy lunge down and up, and then we'll circle that around, balance, tap your toe. And again, circle the hip around, step it back, lunge down, up, circle, and tap. You got it, two more, up and around. Good, kneecap points straight ahead while you do your lunge. Circle, little tap, and one more time. We'll circle it around, step it back, curtsy lunge, take your time to keep your balance as you come up. Reach the arms up to find your balance here. Pull the toes up to the ceiling. Shoulder blades low from the ears. And then step back to your crescent lunge. Chest tall, back leg long. And we're gonna frame the foot. Step back to a plank. Pause here and then you're gonna pick up your left hand. Tap your right shoulder and down and then tap with the other hand. 
Good. Tap and tap and keeping the belly pulled up to the sky. Inner thighs squeeze together. Tap and tap. Two more. Tap. Great work for the shoulder blade muscles here. Tap. Hold it here. Chaturanga. So lowering your chest down. Knees straight or bent. Good. And then once we're on the ground, we're going to pop up onto your elbows. A little cobra. So elbows underneath your shoulders. Palms flat. Just a little bit of activation of your abdominal muscles. We don't really want to sink way down low. Push down and lift with the abs. Good. And then we're going to come all the way to the floor. Reach your fingers straight ahead. Lift the belly. And then we're going to lift the arms and legs from the floor. Reach your arms a little stronger as you pull your shoulder blades back. And then we're going to swim. So alternating kicks with the arms and legs. You don't have to lift too high. Just hover over the ground and make yourself really long. Think about creating space for the discs in the back, creating space for your, your ribs, for all the nerves, letting them do what they need to do. Maybe extend the knees, extend the elbows a little bit more as you kick. Hang in there a little more right when it starts getting tough. That's when all the magic happens. Five more seconds to go. Four, three, two, one. Nice job. Bring it down. We're going to bring the hands into the shoulders and sit way back on your heels to a child's pose. Knees can go a little wider than your rib cage, so you've got some space. And just take a few slow breaths here into your rib cage. So you may even feel your ribs pressing against your knees or your thighs. Then on your next exhale, we're going to come forward and then turn around to lay on your back. For a little bit of ab work. You're going to bring your knees up over your hips, pull the belly into your spine, and then curl yourself up. And as you curl up, you can use your hands, but keep pulling that belly in. We're going to extend the right leg, reach up for your calf, maybe your ankle, whatever you can get to. And then we're going to extend the other leg, start to lower it down, hover it over the floor. Keeping your shoulder blades low, we're going to pull the top leg one, two times. Keep that belly pulled in, keep your shoulders up. Switch and grab the other leg. Elbows wide, exhale, exhale as you pull. Switch, grab it, and pull. One, two, switch, and one, two. Nice, exhale each time you pull, so it's ha, 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 ha. Nice, and here we go. Reach a little higher as you warm up. One, two, two more on each side. Last one, option to put a foot down if you need to modify. And last one, one, two. We're gonna finish with both legs up, hands behind your head. Pause here in a little crunch, flex your toes back to your nose, lower yourself down. We'll bend the knees, let your feet down one at a time. Let your arms rest by your side. And then we're gonna finish with one of my all-time favorite hip stretches supine pigeon stretch. So you're going to put your right ankle on your left knee and then thread your hands underneath that right leg. Grab your left knee. Hands can go either on top of the shin or behind your, your thigh, whatever feels better. Check back in with your breathing. Lean the hips a little bit to the left for a deeper stretch. This is a really wonderful stretch for your glutes and your piriformis muscle. Super important to keep some flexibility in your piriformis because our sciatic nerve goes directly underneath it. 
So sometimes if the piriformis gets really tight, that can be one of many reasons people get sciatica, which is the, the term, it's, the, it's not really a diagnosis, it's just a description of pain along the sciatic nerve. There's a number of things that can cause it, um, tightness in your piriformis being one of them. So if we can stretch it out, we can at least prevent that. Then switch left ankle to right knee and pull both knees into the chest. If you're having trouble reaching your leg, you can also use a towel. So towel behind the thigh, grab it here, and then just pull. I have a number of patients that that works really well for until they get enough mobility to bring their hands, hands to the leg. It's really not about what the stretch looks like, it's what it feels like in your body. So if you're feeling it, in the back of the, that left hip, it feels like a good stretch without sh causing sharp burny or any sort of other pains, then you're doing it right. Just let yourself breathe. And come back to the center and roll up to sit. All right, so that's our class for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe my channel. If you're interested in more classes like this, I teach live classes over Zoom. You can check my website for the current class schedule. Right now it's on Mondays and Fridays. There's a half hour class at noon and an hour class on Friday. The first class is free for anyone who would like to give it a try. Also, if you came to this channel or to this video looking for an exercise or a solution to some joint problem or muscle issue that you're having and you're, you're struggling with it, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I'm a physical therapist and I am available for telehealth physical therapy where we would do a detailed video assessment of what's going on in your body and help develop a plan specific for you so that you can get back to doing the things that you love. If you're interested in more about that, you can reach out to me on my website. There's an option to book a free session where we can just talk about your issue and determine if telehealth is appropriate for you. There's also an option just to reach out and email or call me if you have any questions. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.